Eiji Yoshikawa said, The summit is believed to be the object of the climb, but its true object, the joy of living, is not in the peak itself, but in the adversities encountered on the way up. It's day five of NaNoWriMo, and if you're still on track to finish your 50,000 word novel by the end of 30 days, then you're starting today with a manuscript that's at least 6,668 words long, and you'll add another 1,667 words today, which will make your manuscript at least 8,335 words long. And if you're following along with my writing prompts, then so far you have shown your reader what kind of story this is going to be, and you've introduced an interesting main character who wants something and who has some kind of flaw or damage or brokenness that will interfere with them getting what it is that they want. But today, we have arrived at a part of the story that for the sake of this exercise, I am going to call Opportunity Knocks. Often you'll hear this part of the story referred to as the inciting incident, or the doorway of no return, or the first plot point, something like that. But the terminology isn't important right now. What's important is how to write this part of the story. In this part of the story, your character is going to encounter a new challenge in their life. And this could be either a problem or an opportunity and your character is going to need to decide what they're going to do about this problem or opportunity. Now your character may be the kind of person who sees a problem and charges in headlong without even looking, ready to take on the challenge and win the day. Or they might be the kind of person who really doesn't want to encounter that problem at all, so they try to find a way around it or past it or over it or under it so they don't have to go through this problem. They may be the kind of person who embraces an opportunity with great enthusiasm, ready to take on the world, go out there and do the thing. Or they may be the kind of person who's afraid of this opportunity. Maybe there's something about it that is risky or they're afraid that they will be embarrassed or something that plays off their broken place. Also, in this part of the story, you're going to encounter, probably for the first time, your forces of opposition. And this could be a villain, or it could just be somebody who wants the character to fail for whatever reason. Maybe the character is going after something that they want, and they want to get it instead of the character, and there's only enough whatever it is for one person. So this person will try to thwart the main character in their efforts to gain the thing, whatever it is, so that they can have it. Or in a romance, the main force of opposition is the love interest who either doesn't want to be involved romantically with the main character, or who does want to be involved, but the main character doesn't want to be involved with them. And if the main force of opposition is an organization like the, the evil empire or something like that, it works best to put a face on the opposition. So instead of just having the criminal enterprise or the evil government be the force of opposition, have it be a specific super criminal or governmental official like Darth Vader was the face of the evil empire in Star Wars. Because it's easier for the reader to engage with the story when the opposition has an actual face on it. And something to think about while you are writing this part of the story is how will this challenge put pressure on the character's broken place while the external opponent is also putting pressure on the main character? How will this challenge threaten things that the character values or offer an opportunity to gain things that the character wants? So show them don't just tell that they encountered it, but show them encountering this new challenge in their life. And then show them debating, either within themselves or with another character, what they're going to do about it. Something else to keep in mind is that just like in that Yashikawa quote at the beginning of this video, your reader isn't just reading to reach the summit, to get to the end. They're reading to have the adventure that your character goes through as they're working their way towards the end. The real joy of the story, the joy of living, is in the adversities that are encountered on the way to the end. And the same is true for you as you're writing this 
50,000 word novel. Just getting to the end is only one of the goals. What gives that achievement real value is having gotten there by overcoming the obstacles that are going to crop up in your life while you're trying to get there. It's having gotten to the goal while life was going on around you and interfering with progress. And it's the joy of having achieved greatly against the odds that gives that achievement that feeling of ultimate victory when you get there. So keep on keeping on. You can do this. I believe in you. And I will meet you here again tomorrow with the next writing prompt. Make sure that if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so YouTube will notify you when the next video goes live. And I will see you there.